Shopify just reported their latest quarterly figures, another very, very good quarter by the company. And as you can see, the stock is up close to 16% before the market opens. The stock is back above $100, something it hasn't done, I believe, in the last two to three years or so. So currently it will have a market cap of, well, closer to $130 billion. Definitely not the cheapest stock out there. Currently it has a force PE of 75.1 times. Year to date, it will be up above 20%. Over the last three years, you can probably see the turnaround story happening. Well, since the lows back here in 2022, October 2022, the stock was down close to 82%. Now it will be down closer to 30%, so we're still not in the green if you bought three years ago. But I mean, the turnaround story is well on its way, especially if you look at the year over year comparison. This is truly something else. And I'll show you exactly what has happened. Now, if you look at what the analysts are expecting for fiscal 24, 25, 26, sales growth year over year, just above 20% for all of those fiscal years. And the EPS growth for fiscal 2024 is expected to be 51.2%, followed by 24.3% year-over-year growth in fiscal 2025, then a reacceleration of 33.45% year-over-year growth in fiscal 2026. If we look at the current average analyst price target, it already sat 8.2% lower than the price the stock was before it reported earnings. We're probably going to see some price target updates in the next couple of hours but as you can see there are 52 analysts covering this company 20 with a hold rating 21 with a buy 10 with a strong buy and only one with a strong sell looking at some pricing metrics of course previously profitability was not really a thing for shopify so if you look at the five-year mean compared to what's happening right now for pe v to be price to sales price to free cash flow were all lower than the five-year mean price earnings to growth sits at 1.78 it's not the most expensive one but definitely not the cheapest one either so what exactly has happened this quarter let me explain throughout this video if you enjoy this type of videos leave it a thumbs up subscribe if not would really appreciate that if you want to support me even further do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment with the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor thank you very much let me start with a major overview here by Consensus Guru's great follow on X. You can basically see the actual numbers compared to what the market was expecting. So we've got plenty of beats and four misses. The misses are from gross margin, a miss by 13 basis points, operating profit missed by 15.8%, operating margin missed by 276 basis points, but free cash flow beat quite comfortably here by 23 0.8%. If we look at the other miss, and that's for Q4 guidance, stock-based compensation was the small miss there, 4.3%. All the rest a bit comfortably, I would say, gross profit growth, 48 basis points higher than what the consensus numbers were. OPEX as a percentage of revenue, 396 basis points better than what the market was expecting, and a free cash flow margin of 20.8%, that's 293 basis points higher than what the market was expecting. So overall, pretty good print. Now, let's start as always with some comments from management. So Q3 was outstanding, further establishing Shopify as a leader in powering e-commerce everywhere, anytime. Our unified commerce platform is becoming the go-to choice for merchants of all sizes. As the busiest shopping season of the year for our merchants approaches, they trust Shopify to provide the tools, unmatched speed and reliability to maximize their success. As for the CFO, Shopify achieved 26% revenue growth and 19% free cash flow margin in this quarter, marking our sixth consecutive quarter of greater than 25% revenue growth excluding logistics. Remember, they saw the logistics business to Flexport. Moreover, we have grown free cash flow margin sequentially each quarter this year consistent with what we delivered last year. These results demonstrate the durability of our business, our multiple avenues of growth and continued discipline of balancing both future growth investment and operational leverage. And so for the quarter, we basically got this. GMV increased 24% year over year. Monthly recurring revenues increased 27.7% year over year. As for revenues, they already told us that's up 26.1% year over year. 
gross profit is up 24.1%, operating income is up 132% year over year, and free cash flow is up 52.5% year over year. Then looking at the solutions. So we've got subscription solutions and merchant solutions. Subscription one increased 25% year over year. Merchant solutions increased 26% year over year. Now here's the thing. With regards to subscription services, cost of revenue increased less than revenue growth. So that's up 22.7%. But as for merchant solutions, that actually increased 29.1%. So higher than the merchant solutions revenue. So that's something to keep an eye on. Looking at total operating expenses, that's up 7.2% year over year, so that's fine. And net income is up 15.3% year over year. As for outlook for Q4, as we've seen at the start of this video, revenue to grow at mid to high 20s percentage rates on a year over year basis. Gross profit dollars to grow at a year on year rate similar to Q3 2024 and gap operating expenses as a percentage of revenue to be 32% to 33% stock-based compensation to be $120 million, and free cash flow margin to be similar to Q4 2023. Free cash flow margin for Q4 2023 was 13%. Now, zooming out a little bit, this is basically what happened with Shopify and what the market is expecting with regards to revenue growth and free cash flow. So revenue growth, we've seen already what the market expects, but since 2014, revenue has increased close to 12,000%. That's a compound annual growth rate of 49%. That's insane. Then as for free cash flow, this is basically what the market expects. Huge increase year over year, around 50 something percent. Then slowing down a little bit here, but I mean, revenue is expected to grow above 20%. Free cash flow is going to be above that as well, at least until fiscal 2026. Overall, if you look at GPV and GMV, I mean, since Q3 2020, GPV has grown by 255.9% and GMV has grown by 161.9%, growing at a 40.29% CAGR and 29.27% CAGR respectively. And this, this is basically why the stock has gone from, what was it, $25, $30 or so to now above $100. This was basically it. We've got a huge, huge increase in free cash flow from the pandemic, but after the pandemic and their investments in the logistics business, that has gone down, down, down and actually been thrown out the window. But then they made a change, they sold the logistics business, they became a much more profitable company and this is what has happened right now. Free cash flow in the last 12 months, I mean, it's been more than double the peak that we had here during the pandemic and it's expected to continue to grow. So yeah, that's one of the, well, probably the main reason why this stock is now back above $100. Doing a quick reverse DCF here based on free cash flow trailing 12 months, which is now $1.432 billion. Put here a terminal growth rate of 4.37%, discount rate of 8.41%, and a dilution of 3% for the next 10 years. We see that the implied growth rate to justify today's price after, well, the earnings report, which sits closer to $104, is now 24.5%, which is quite high. It's quite high. So yeah, the question is, is it too late to buy Shopify stock or not? Looking at the charts right now, before the reported earnings, we've reached actually a previous stop that was reached here at the start of this year, back in February, around $90. Since then, the stock has actually gone down under $50. And well, right now we basically more than doubled since the start of August, August 5th at Black Monday, you know, many of the stocks bottomed there and are up close to 100% since. Now we're back to prices not seen since January 2022. So yeah, uncharted territory, RSI is definitely going to be overbought. But yeah, what do you think? Do you think that the best is behind us? Do you think there's still time to buy Shopify right now? at these prices, at these growth rates, this valuation, let me know down in the comment section below. I don't have Shopify, my money is in Amazon and Mercado Libre. I know Shopify, a tremendous business, great leadership, and that's probably why this stock has rebounded so hard. Yes, it did take a little bit more time, but I mean, if you look at how much free cash flow this company is now generating, the margins that it's got, I mean, you cannot not like this business, but maybe, maybe it has run up too quickly. Maybe it has become 
a little bit too expensive right now. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below, like, subscribe to all of that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.